Happy Friday, you guys. Happy Friday. Happy. <laughs> you see how many times I be having to do it over because I don't be liking how I sound. Today is podcast day. <sighs> On the downside, today is podcast day and I have no podcast filmed. So I have to film today, you guys. It is currently 1044 and I have until 245 to film this video. Well, for one, set it up, film it, edit it, and upload it. I have to do all of that by 245. So, I'm going to walk you guys through how I prep for a podcast literally from beginning to end. As you can see how I'm looking, y'all. I did wake up this morning. I took a shower, lotion my body down, everything like that. I had a coffee. But other than that, beginning to end. So, how we prep, how I prep for the video, what I use, what applications I use, how I upload it, all of the above, I'm going to tell you guys. So, Let's get started. First things first, get ready. That Because that's really the biggest thing that I need to get out the way. So, I don't even know what I'm going to wear. I really don't like, I mean, it's a podcast, so I'm not really trying to, you know, it don't have to be me looking fabulous, but I do want to look presentable. So, I'm going to wear this bodysuit right here. That's it. Don't look at my junkie closet. Honestly, with this outfit, I can go ahead and do my makeup first and my hair and then put this outfit on because it doesn't have to go over my head. Okay, so I don't always like do my makeup. It is some videos where I didn't do my makeup at all for a podcast episode. But for the most part, I do like, you know, looking presentable because I always create the episodes into like a reel on Instagram. So when it comes down to me deciding on what I want to talk about for a podcast episode, honestly, y'all, I don't have like a list of topics that I want to talk about and everything like that. I did try to have it that way in the beginning, but it just didn't work out like that. So, so this episode, I'm pre I'm talking about a healthy co-parenting relationship with the person that you have a child with. And what prompted this episode is like this these past couple of weeks, or even I would say months at this point, it has been, you know, I, I spend a lot of time on social media because, you know, I'm a content creator. So it has been a lot of talk about people like getting divorced people that's been together for years and even though that's nothing new you know it's just been like dang like recently it was announced that tia maori i really need to figure out how to say her last name correctly before maori okay and corey it was announced that they were getting a divorce and so then tia had like posted a video of like talking about like this new chapter in her life and things like that she posted a video on instagram and corey which is the person she divorcing commented on it right and tia responded and said i love you and then one of the um one of the gossip channels they pretty much said something about it and was like toxic or something like they pretty much said that, that their relationship was toxic and honestly it made me think like I don't want because I don't want to start talking about it because I could go on and on child but that's pretty much what it's gonna be about because it's like I just was like how is that toxic if anything that's healthy that's a healthy relationship but we so used to toxic that we don't even know what a healthy relationship looks like we don't know what it looked like so that's what I wanted to talk about because, you know, if you are new here, if you're not aware, I do have four children. I have a 11 year old, I have a seven year old and I have twins and my 11 year old and seven year old is with men that I am not currently with. So I have had to co-parent. <laughs> over these last 11 years and I have yeah it's been definitely up and down up and down and this hasn't all been you know the father I have my things with me also 
that's how I pretty much come up with my episode as far as the topic. I just go based upon, you know, something that is going on that sparks my interest or something that I'm going through that I want to talk about. So I, I really don't try to like plan out. Um, I might write a topic down just in case, you know, like I forget that that's something that I want to talk about because I do that does happen. But for the most part, I try to be organic and just like let it come to something that is passionate to me because I don't want to just get up there and be talking about just anything. So that's how I come up with the topic. Then when it comes down to me creating my like I have so the first segment, which as time goes on and my channel evolves, I know my segments probably will change or I might add more or you know get rid of some but for right now my first two set my segments that I have um podcast which is just something that I do every single podcast is that in the beginning of it before I even go into the topic I start out with a sweet and sour which I go over something that has happened that week that was a sweet moment and something that that was a sour moment lately I've been having a hard time coming up with something that's like sour because honestly you guys like I have not been like having no like even like my life is not perfect by far it has definitely been things that has happened in my life that it's like oh like lord why is this happening to me right now but like you know i feel like i'm evolving as far as how to handle my emotions and trying to not allow it to dictate my whole day that i'll forget about it because to me it's like it's really not that important like anything you guys like i spent so many years stressing over stuff you know what i'm saying in the moment you stress about it but then when you look back it's like you can't even you you don't even know like what was i stressing for you know what i'm saying so it's like i try not to really dwell on things but i'm gonna use this it's my like paint is that how it's supposed to smell let me smell this one So it's been kind of hard for me lately to pull something out as far as a sour so, so i just got finished doing my makeup right i'm honestly not feeling it because her uh, it, it don't matter it's just it's just not i don't know like i'm not a matte girl at all that makeup is soft matte so yeah i don't know but i don't have time to do it over so we got to get this started okay so hopefully this part looks better on camera too because this video is just all over the place <laughs> okay hopefully i gotta see how my breast part gonna be looking on camera because you can see my nipples we're gonna see how that looks um if you have watched any of my podcasts you know that this is the background that i use right here and these are the two lights at the bottom of course the lights that like these the the actual lights are not shown you can just see them on the background matter of fact let me go ahead and turn them on so these lights are bluetooth capable so they have an app called br light and all i need to do is click on all on and then they turn on and then I can click on so being that there are two different lights I can sync them together or like I can change just one light you see how this light is just changing yeah okay so I might I don't know I'm gonna see I'm gonna play with it and see how I want it to look on camera but those are the lights um I have my chair right here I use this chair for everything y'all this is the chair that I sit in right here and then and then I take my tripod I got this tripod from Amazon and this is the tripod dang I gotta go downstairs and get the top part to it but this is the tripod that I use to set up to actually film me so people are able to watch it visually so we have my mic my mic is right here the mic that i use is the shore let me see i have the box hold on this is the mic that i use right here the mv7 podcast microphone is us 
bead operated. I absolutely love emphasis on love. I love this microphone because it just it's it, the I just love the quality of it. So, and also the stand is from Amazon for this microphone because when I ordered it, it did not come with a stand. This is all that the microphone came with from here on up. So this part is screwed onto the actual stand and I got this stand from Amazon. So I'm going to put this by the actual chair. It looks also crazy right now, but I promise when you watch the video, it won't look like this. I added a candle right there that I'm going to light. Right now, you guys, I don't know how it's going to look. More than likely, this setup is going to change. I'm going to have to adjust the plant and the you know everything so that it can look good in frame but i'm just placing everything right there so it could just be there as far as how i record the episode i use audacity and i have to plug the microphone into my imac the cord from the microphone is too short to reach all the way over here so before every episode i have to pull this closer so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I had to go put my robe back on you guys because I want to show y'all like what I'm doing. But this jumpsuit shows entirely too much. Now this setup is really, really beginner friendly you guys because I'm pretty sure like your most popular podcasters don't have to go through all of this. Okay, so now I moved it closer. So I'm going to go ahead and take the cord from my mic and bring oh and i also have to move my um you see this stand that my computer is on i just moved that a little closer also be careful not to drop my computer child because if i break that i'm just gonna take the cord this is the cord from my microphone this is a USB C. so i have four ports in the back of my iMac and I'm just going to plug it into one of those okay you guys so I'm on my computer if you see like if it looks funny you know how it is when you're recording a camera on a computer so I open audacity okay so this is how audacity looks when you open it up okay y'all see it that's how it's spelled at the top when the microphone is plugged up into your computer it should automatically come up in audacity so you see right here there you go the shore mv7 right there so when it's time to record all i need to do is press this red record button and now it's recording of course there's no like jumps in the audio because nothing is there hello 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 you see now it has jumps in the audio so I'm just going to go ahead and stop this and then delete this track. So this is ready to go right here. So I just need to press record on that. At, this is my SD card that I use for my camera. The camera I use is the Sony a7 III. I absolutely love, love <laughs> this camera. It is so crisp and clear and I just love it but there is an attachment that goes right here on my tripod so I need to go get that while I'm downstairs I am going to get me a drink not a drink as far as like alcohol because sometimes I do drink an alcoholic beverage while I'm you know doing a podcast because it's like an adult podcast but today I'm not so okay so I have my drink oh shoot no I came downstairs for the daggone attachment I'm glad I remember before I went back up there because I would have been hot to Molly. So this is how the attachment looks right here for the tripod. The whole tripod don't work, honey, unless you got this. <laughs> That's how it looks at the bottom. And I'm just going to put this on top. So also what I like about this camera is some cameras, like the camera that I'm filming on right now for you guys, it has the SD card slot at the bottom. So say, for instance, the SD card is full. I have to take it off the tripod and then put a new SD card. What I like about this camera is the SD cards are on the side. So that makes it so much better so that I don't have to like take it off of the tripod. What I will say I don't like about the camera, it has a um, 
an internal battery. So it's not like you take out the battery and you plug it into the wall to charge it up. You have to plug a cord into the camera to charge it up. So I don't like that because I don't have any extra battery. So once this battery dies, it's just dead and then it takes a while to charge up. But I will say it takes a while to go dead also. So that's the pros and cons of it. I'm gonna go ahead and set this camera up just roughly in the center of where I'm gonna be sitting at. You know, as I said earlier, that's not gonna be the permanent spot of it. Also with this camera, this camera does not have a flip up or flip out screen. The monitor on the back, it just slightly comes out in the back, but I can't see myself if I'm sitting here. I can't see myself right here. So I wanna make sure that I'm in frame. So I have this cord. This is an HDMI cord, but it's not a regular HDMI cord. It's specifically for cameras because this is the part that goes into your actual monitor. All right, this is the part that goes into the camera. So I'm going to put this in here, plug this into here. I'm going to go ahead and light this candle. I got this candle from Target. It was on clearance, normal price $35. I got it for $25. But um, it's a big candle. My dad on kids yesterday, they accidentally pushed it. So it's wax on the sides of it. So I need to see if you can even see that on camera because it looks ugly. Y'all see wax dripping now? You can see me on the monitor but it's too bright. The ISO, when you turn down the ISO, it makes it a little darker. Also, I'm gonna turn off. I don't use any um, external lights because I really don't need to, honestly. Mm, I guess that's cool. Okay, but the camera is lopsided, so I need to get this together. Just let you guys watch. Me trying to get it right. Also, I need to take off this robe so I can see how it's gonna look. Because I like, I don't like to show too much, you guys, like of my body body. But this is like, uh, this is definitely cricket. Okay, that's a little better. Let's see. look bad it still look a little is it the tripod yeah the damn tripod cricket now that's a little bit too high so it need to come a little lower okay. um I'm not mad at this look right here it is showing a little bit more than what I would like. All right. Okay, you guys. So we have that all set up. This is how it looks in my time. Now, the only other thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and press record. This goes as long as you need it to go. It don't stop. <laughs> I'm going to put my water bottle beside my chair once i press record on the camera i do have to go ahead and start because the camera like as if you record before cameras only have a 30 minute limit so i'll be having to keep starting it over and get up i don't have time for that so i have my phone by me when i'm recording to set a timer because it does just stop it don't even let you know child it just stops I need to go ahead and start you guys so i'm about to go ahead and start recording if you have not watched it, go ahead and watch because it should be up by now. So yeah. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and launch Final Cut Pro. I'm going to take out the SD card. And then y'all see this little device back here. This is where, this is an SD card reader. So I just, being that the iMac doesn't have an actual slot for me to put my SD card in, as y'all can see, I'm struggling. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and open here in Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and get those clips that I just 
recorded right here is two clips i don't know if you can really tell on camera but i really don't even like the way i'm sitting so the color that comes immediately off of the camera i don't like how it looks to me it looks very washed out i don't know if you all can even tell on the camera that you're looking at but to me it looks very washed out so i have these presets over here that is actually say like color grade for podcasts stuff like that so what I do is I you can put how you would like for your color to look and you can save that specific type of you can save that preset so when you save that color preset you don't have to keep going in on single every single episode and changing it okay so it did add some color definitely to it but I don't I hate how the light was fluctuating all through the dead on video. It looked too bright. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to change that too much. So this is how it's going to look with the video. Unfortunately, I don't like how the you know, like the sun I'm fa the, the window is facing me when I'm recording so it looks like it just keeps changing and I don't like that but we can't do anything about that now so this is the audio as you can hear it this is you know just be nice like just be nice you know what I'm saying like it was one point where he had okay so that's the audio strictly off of the camera that I was recording with but I'm not going to be using that audio so now I have to go back to audacity which is audacity is the one that I was using to actually record from my mic and I am going to export this audio from audacity so I just have to go to file export and then I export as mp3 so I'm going to go ahead and export that. It usually does not take long. Okay, so it already exported. So now I'm going to go back to Final Cut Pro. And I'm going to take that audio that just exported. What did I name it? podcast audio 9 okay and I'm just going to drag it right onto Final Cut Pro so I dragged it right onto Final Cut Pro and now I just need to line up I have to line up the audio you guys which this is not hard I won't even say it's hard it's not hard at all but it's just the point of lining it up, child. You got to make sure because you ever watch some movies where the, the words don't be matching the, the audio. Yeah, that's, that's what would happen. That's what would happen if you don't have it lined up. I'm going to trim. Usually because I've, I've start the mic before I start the camera, it's always in excess of audio. So I just take away the audio that I don't need and like line it up with this with the actual visual clip and then i start happy friday okay so this is not all right i had tea happy and different friday. things and okay okay so i'm just still lining it up you guys i try to magnify the clips as much as possible because when you magnify the clips i don't know if you can tell but y'all see the little dips in the audio so y'all see that y'all see how this audio is right here it starts right here and then this one starts right here so that's how i know it's not lined up so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to cut right here all right get rid of that drag this down maybe like put it right here so the audio from the actual camera that i was using to visually record i'm gonna bring that volume all the way down and then now i'm going to play it to see if it matches up with my lips happy friday y'all happy friday you guys happy friday happy <laughs> You see how many times I'll be having to do it over because I don't be liking how it sound. Now the audio is on track with each other, you guys. So that's how you do it. 
And now I'm about to I just keep the I just keep the audio from the camera that I recorded with. I just keep that on zero the whole time so that don't play and the only audio I want is from my actual podcast mic. As you can hear, it sounds so much better than my actual a camera mic. It just doesn't sound echoey or anything like that. So this footage is 50 minutes and 59 seconds. So like I said, majority of it, I will not have to cut out because I'm talking the whole time, but I do need to listen to it. So being that it's 1.30 and I have to go leave to get the kids by 2.45, I need to go ahead and listen. All right. All right, guys, I'm on my phone again. I'm pretty sure y'all can see it in the background, but it looks better um from doing it from my phone so i'm done with the editing and everything like that i was able to get it down to 43 minutes and 32 seconds so now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is go up the top and click on export file so i'm gonna go to settings and then i am going to click on audio only so what i do is i have to do the audio only version to upload it to the streaming flat pack platforms like spotify apple um, podcast things like that so i'm going to go ahead and export this first and then i'm going to go back and do the visual the visual will take longer because you know it's it's 4k and it's visual and audio the audio is pretty much real quick but i'm more focused on getting the audio out first so i can go ahead and upload that because when it comes down to streaming it to the different platforms it says that it could take so up to 24 hours it doesn't usually take that long but it does take a little bit of time so i want to go ahead and get that out the way so i'm going to go ahead and let that export is exporting up there as you can see it's already moving it goes pretty quick y'all as y'all can see the, the it's climbing so I'm going to do that, upload it to Buzzsprout, which Buzzsprout is the, the host platform that distributes it to different streaming platforms like Apple Podcasts, things like that. So I'm going to let this finish and then we are going to go to the next step. All right, so it's already done. So I'm going to go ahead and upload to Buzzsprout. This is how my Buzzsprout looks. So I'm going to click on upload a new episode, choose file, and I'm just going to go to that file that I just did which is right here and then from here I'm just going to create my title description everything like that and then click publish immediately so I'm going to go ahead and do that and before I do that though I do want to go ahead and start exporting the video I'm going to start exporting the video and audio because that's going to take a little bit of time so I'm going to go back the same way, export it, change it to, you would think I would have to do video and audio, but you click on computer and then, yeah, this is 4K, but I didn't click that. So it's all right. So I'm going to just go ahead and do next YouTube pod, save. All right, and that's going to go ahead and export. That's going to take a little bit more time, but I'm going to go while that's doing that. I'm going to go back to Buzzsprout and go ahead and do my description and everything like that. Okay, you guys. So the video is currently being uploaded to YouTube. Well, it already is uploaded to YouTube, but I'm just waiting for, well, I'm not going to actually make it go live until about 8 and also it's currently still processing the HD version of it. That's why it looks like that, like it's blinking. So it's like in low resolution, which makes it look all grainy. But that is already uploaded and I uploaded it to Buzzsprout. I do need to go back to Buzzsprout and make my actual um, episode description box. But before that, I do need to go ahead and create my um thumbnail so what i usually do for the podcast episode i just take three frames whatever frames it may be that i like you know i just scroll through it and wait until i find something i like that one because i feel like that's good for all right so i'm gonna save current frame next 
I'm gonna title this one. Okay, you guys, so I have the three thumbnails that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and airdrop them to my phone. So that's the first one. So now I'm gonna open Canva. And what I do with Canva is, so Canva always pretty much saves your, you know, your designs that you make. This is what I've been using for my Vlogtober thumbnails. So I'm pretty much just going to start inserting the pictures and then I'll just change it. So I'm gonna change this Vlogtober to podcast because that's what it is. The same, so I want to stay on theme. All of my Vlogtober font, fonts have been looking the same. And then I'm just gonna change this one to episode nine because that's what it is. So I'm just gonna save this design. So I save that design, go to the actual video on my YouTube app, and I'm going to set this. And now all of my videos are there. And that's the one that I'm uploading up top right here. So now all I need to do now, you guys, is just make my description box. And once I make my description box, that is it. That's literally what I do from start to finish. Thank you for watching.